Hey everyone, Mike here from Muscle Activation of Tampa. We want you exercising pain-free, and today we're gonna to talk about why hasn't anyone or anything been able to help you get out of pain, or you know, you're having some aches and tightness, some movement restrictions, and you're, you're avoiding certain positions because of some of that pain, and you've tried a bunch of different things and nothing's been able to help. Well, we're gonna go over that, and really it's just one word, and the word is bias. I also like to use the word the uncertainty, which we'll go over and explain why that word might be a little bit better. But either way, there's bias towards a lot of things when it comes to, hey, you're having back pain and you can Google that to death to anyone across the, the nation, across the pond, whichever pond you decide to choose. And uh, there, there's just, there's so many factors along there that needs to be alleviated from whatever bias that you choose, whether it's working with anyone out there or coming to see me, I'm gonna to explain to you how, in my world, we alleviate those biases. So, uh, what? real simple, how do we do that? How do we alleviate those biases and uncertainties when it comes to working with someone like you? It's the, the, the data that we uh, gather, right? History really, really matters. Um, when people first come in, I have them do this very in-depth questionnaire and a lot of times it opens up doors where, wait, 20 years ago you got in a car accident, but you're coming in here for knee pain? Tell me more about that car accident. Oh, I had whiplash and a concussion, and I've also had some dental work done, and now I have a whole nother list of assessments I gotta do on the neck area that could be influencing the knee. Sounds weird, right? Sounds totally strange, but if I wanna give you the best possible care out there and alleviate uh, eliminate that bias or uncertainty, I gotta have more of that information. So that's really the case being that why you know anyone or anything else out there hasn't been able to help. Now the word bias is very, it's impossible to try to eliminate, but we can try to minimize it as best as we can. And a lot of times out there, out in the world, what I, what I mean that is there's usually like one particular cause, which means there's one factor, I'm sorry, I mean that by like second thing. One particular cause and one factor, which means there's only one solution for everybody out there. That's pretty tough. You, you know, I, I, I will admit that I fell into that a long time ago when I first started realizing that, well, you are unique. You have your own fingerprint and that fingerprint is never going to be copied and paste to any other human being that will ever live. That's really important to know. Because when you come in, everybody has a unique profile and unique set of data, abilities, and inabilities that we're trying to help alleviate. Another thing out there that, that typically is seen is the whole copy and paste, whether it's yourself or another person out there that we, do, we don't even know. It's like we just see it, we'll give it a try, and there's no corroboration of, of the data based on your history uh, your assessment and knowing where to start because that's really the key we need to know where exactly to start and the first decision we start making based on as much information we get from you makes things a lot easier and progressively over time but how do we get that well what kind of physical stress have you gone through you know like I mentioned before you're in here for a knee pain you want to go and, and, and have some walks outside with your dog or with your spouse, go for a bike ride, maybe even go for a run that you enjoy doing. But then 20 years ago, you had that car accident that we talked about, or you had um, a broken hand from, from a fall a few years back. You know, there's a lot of things that can show up that even though one factor on your knee as pain can open up doors on much more factors with time being one of them, neck, hand broken, and whatever else you might be going through or have. Now again, we have that information in the past, knowing what's happening right now in the present, we look at things objectively. Hey, I know where we're standing, you know, your scapula on your right side is relatively higher compared to the scapula on the left side. Now, what does that mean? I don't know, we need more information. Got to look at the hips, got to look at the spine, got to look at the clavicle, got to look at the neck, even the jaw too. Even your eyes, they have muscles. Anything you control 
are your muscles and you voluntarily do them, which there's an assessment for that as well. Anyways, uh, but what has that changed over that time? And uh, when we write down those things objectively, I'm also asking you subjectively, how do you feel? Hey, does that bother you when you bring your arm over your shoulder? Eh, a little bit. Eh, no, no, this one's fine. I can do this all day. Okay, that's still all written down before we create our profile. Now, the big key is I know that a lot of people like yourself are very self-aware of your entire body, but there's possibilities that you can have some blind spots. And sometimes when you get that outer, you know, that satellite view or different window perspective, there's another way you can eliminate that bias of having somebody helping you see, hey, you know, your foot turns in when you do this, when you walk. I'm like, I didn't even realize that because my other hip is always popping. Hmm. So what happens if we turn it in? Does that hurt? Nope. And now my popping stops. Now we got to turn something. Now we've made a change. And how do we make that short term change into a long term change into an adaptation that you've created? We're taking the adaptation that you currently have and making a whole new adaptation. So again, there's that eliminating that bias. So here's some questions for you. What positions are you currently in that have been some changes that occurred through you know, a surgery, an accident, or maybe just some overuse through sports. And now that these changes are what you're comfortable in right now, but then you have some pain somewhere else. Think about that. And then also what changes, what positions can you change in order to exercise pain-free? So Mike here again with Muscle Activation of Tampa, wanting you to exercise pain-free. And this is the reason, some of the reasons why uh, someone or something has not been able to help you, and it's that word bias. How do we eliminate that? Gathering a lot of data.